Hello, boys and girls. My name is Cheryl Spann, and I am your STEAM instructor at the Boys and Girls Club. Today, we're going to be doing a project, and um, it's going to be a pillar. So we're going to take um, a couple of items that you might have laying around the house in order to make this pillar. Um, first, the items that you're going to need is going to be a bandana. And you can get any color bandana that you would like, whatever kind or style that you need, but it's just a regular bandana. You can usually find these at um, Hobby Lobby for 90, 99 cents. And um, the next thing you're gonna need is something that's gonna be called a polyfiber, and it looks like cotton. And this is what you're gonna need to use to stuff your pillow once you get done preparing it. And last but not least, you will need um, something called Wonder Tape. And Wonder Tape is something that um, people that sew use a lot. So when they have um, areas that need to be sewed together and it's a place that you can't get your sewing machine to, you can use this Wonder Tape and put it in that area and take your iron and iron over it and it will seal it as if you sewed it, okay? And the next thing you will need will be an iron. And with using an iron, always make sure to get your parents' permission and their supervision while you're using the iron because the iron is very, very hot and it can get hot and it can burn you. So we don't want you to get burned. So make sure that you get your parents' permission and have their supervision when you are using the iron, okay? So let's jump right into this project. First, you're gonna take your bandana and in Sewing, they have terms that you know you, you you will learn, and one of the terms would be right side and wrong side out. Okay, this here is a bandana, and this here is the right side that I'm showing you. If I turn it over, it would be considered the wrong side, and how I know that it's the wrong side because it has the tag right here. So this is the wrong side of your bandana and this is the right side of your bandana. So what we're gonna do with this bandana, we're gonna take two ends of the bandana and we're gonna put right sides together. So you have right sides together. And again, how you know it's the right side is because you have your tag right here. So this is the wrong side. So you're gonna put those two sides together. And once you put those sides together, you're going to take your um, bandana and lay it flat. You're going to take some of your Wonder Tape, and this here is double-sided. So one side has paper on it, and the other side is sticky. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your Wonder Tape and start at one end of your bandana and go all the way to the other end of your bandana and press it down just like I'm doing here just press it down and once you've done that you can stick this to the side okay you have that done and make sure that it's pressed down really really good because when you get ready to pull the paper back in off of it it's going to be sticky on that side. So you're going to need that stickiness. And let's peel off. You'll peel off the white part. See right here? You can just peel it off. And it comes right off of there. And you have another side that is sticky. So that side is sticky. So what you're gonna do is take the sticky sides and you're gonna seal them together. You're gonna put them to where they're sticking together, okay? Okay. 
And once you have it to where they're sticking together, you can press it down to make sure that they're together. And at this point, you'll take your iron and you would go over the part which you just put your backing to. So you'll take your iron and you'll just go all the way down that seam, just like this. You can go all the way down. And this here is attaching it to the bandana, okay? That's what your wonder tape does. It helps it out, okay? So you'll continue and go all the way down to the other end with um, that. And once you get done with that part, you're gonna take and turn your bandana To the other side okay you know turn it to the other side And it's okay if your bandana is not even, um, that's perfectly fine. So this is what you should have. It should look like this, where you're able to just stick your arm through on one side. That's what you should have. Now, after you've done that, you're gonna take rubber bands, and I apologize because I did not mention that you're gonna need these but you need two rubber bands and you're gonna take and you're gonna gather one end together and put your rubber band on. And you put it on there and fix it to where your rubber band is pretty much even and you should have one end of your bandana that looks like this okay so this is what one end should look like after you placed your rubber band on it and here's the rubber band so you have your rubber band and this is your um, one end of your bandana so at this point you would have some polyfiber and what you need at with the polyfiber is you're going to take it and you're going to stuff it into um your bandana and this is it just take a handful of it and just stuff it into your bandana and I have one that's already done so I'm just gonna show you what it looks like when it's already done Okay, once you got your polyfiber in, you're gonna take your hand in there and work it around and get it to where you want it to be so it'll be a nice, firm pillow. And once you get that done, you're gonna take your other rubber band and put it on this end of your um, pillow. And you're gonna gather it up just like this and put your rubber band on it. And you'll have the other end to look just like the first end. Okay, so right now it looks like a Tussie Roll. And you can use as much polyfiber that you have in it. If you have some old pillows that might be around the house that mom's not using, ask her if it's okay. If you can cut it open and use the filling out of it to keep you from having to go to the store and buy some. 
or if you have um, some type of um, toy that might have the fiber in the inside that makes it soft and cushy, you can take that and take it open and use that in and in here also. You can also use newspaper, but I don't know how well that would be with, um, you know, laying your head on it or whatever. So I, I wouldn't suggest newspaper, but if you want to, you can put that in there. But it should be polyfiber and you can find it at your local Michaels or Joann's or Walmart um, carry it if you want to use the polyfiber. And if you don't want to buy it, if you have, like I say, old pillars or toys that have fluff in it, then you can take and cut it open and use that and put it into your own pillar to make your own pillar. And then if you want to, you can take and put some ribbon on the ends, the end of it, to um, keep your rubber band from showing. Or you can take anything that you like to dazzle it up so your rubber band won't show. Um, if you want to and just put your little string on it and tie it in a knot and there you have it your pillow have a pillow that you can sleep on or if you're traveling you can put it on your head and rest your head on it while you're traveling or if you want to put your arm on it you can rest your arm relax your arm on it or something just whatever you want to do with it if you want to add details to it and get some um, name, write your name on it or just whatever you want to do with it. And this is an easy way to do a pillow without really using a sewing machine. If you know how to sew, then you can take in the area where we had it open and we put the um, wonder tape on it. You can take and run a straight seam down the line here and make a straight seam like I did on this one and sew it to the, where, you know, you don't have to use the tape wonder. But if you don't have a sewing machine and you don't know how to sew, then um, using the wonder tape would be a good um, thing that you could use um, to help seal it. Alrighty, this concludes my episode of how to make a pillow with a bandana. Um, if you have any questions, um, Leave me comments or something in um, the Boys and Girls Club website, and I'll get back in touch with you. If you need um, anything for his, um, bandanas or anything in that nature, like I said, Hobby Lobby has um, most of the items that I've used here today. Um, rubber bands you can always find somewhere laying around, but if you have any questions on how to make this or what you need to do to get started or um, how to go about sewing one, um, leave me some questions at um, the Boys and Girls Club website and I'll respond back to you. Again, my name is Cheryl Spann. I am your STEAM instructor at the Boys and Girls Club and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day, boys and girls.